Hey all, welcome back to Bright School. Today we're gonna discuss the use of to be mean is M R. We need to know what is the part of to be. So part of to be is is M R. Uh, and what is to be? To be is normally a leading verb showing existence or condition of the subject. Maksudnya menjelaskan Bagaimana keadaan pada seorang subjek? Well, we used to be to connect between subject and complement. Kita gunakan to be untuk menghubungkan antara subjek dengan pelengkap. Well, in bahasa Indonesia, we say to be as adalah dengan pattern. Subject plus to be or plus noun or we can also use adjective. Jadi contoh daripada noun itu seperti a chair, a book, a bag, a table, and so on. And kinds of adjectives are beautiful, smart, intelligent. Awesome, tidy, careful, lovable, and etc. Well, to make us understand how to use to be by using it subject, we're gonna listen to some examples that I'm gonna read. So, uh, we're gonna make some sentences using subject you and I. Let's check it out. Subject by using I. Listen. I am a teacher. Saya adalah seorang guru. I am a doctor. Saya adalah seorang dokter. Okay. We use subject you. You are a manager. Anda adalah seorang manager. And the second is, you are a driver. Anda adalah seorang supir. Well, those are the sentences using subject I and you. And here are sentences using subject dia perempuan, he, dia laki-laki. Let's check. She is beautiful. Dia adalah cantik. Ataupun dia itu cantik. And the second is, she is my sister. Dia adalah kakak saya. Atau, uh, dia kakak saya. And the fourth is, he is smart. Dia cerdas. Atau, dia adalah cerdas. And next, he is a pilot. Dia adalah seorang pilot. Atau, dia adalah pilot. And then, We use subject it and they. Let's check. It is a cat. Itu adalah seekor kucing. And the second, it is a cow. Dia adalah seekor sapi. Let's use subject we. We are students. Kita adalah para pelajar. Second, we are friends. Kita adalah teman atau kita berteman. And then we use subject they. Let's check. They are office workers. Mereka adalah pekerja kantor. And second, they are active and intelligent. Mereka adalah aktif dan cerdas. Penggunaan daripada to be terkadang dalam bahasa Indonesia kita artikan berada. Contohnya saya berada di kamar. Jadi menunjukkan tempat atau menerangkan keterangan tempat. So things that we have to remember is with this pattern subject and then we use to be. After to be, we add 
prepositions of place. Prepositions of place is like in the bedroom, in the yard, in school, in the party, in Asia, in America, and etc. Well, let's learn what is preposition. So preposition describes the location or a place where something is. There are some kinds of preposition of place. Number one is in di dalam atau di at di atau pada on di atas beside di samping behind di belakang near dekat atau di dekat by di samping for di depan under di bawah in front of Artinya, di depan. Okay, those are the kinds of prepositions to explain where something or where someone is. Here are some sentences that we learn by using subject. I and you. So let's check the subjects using I and you. The first is, I am here. Saya berada di sini. Jadi dia menunjukkan atau menjelaskan tempat. Yang kedua, I am at home. Saya berada di rumah. And then you are in school. Anda berada di sekolah. And then you are outside. Anda berada di luar. Let's listen to examples by using subject she and he. For example, she is on the tree. Dia berada di atas pohon. Atau dia berada di pohon. And the second is she is in the bedroom. Dia berada di kamar tidur. He is under the table. Dia berada di bawah meja. And then, he is beside the TV set. Dia berada di samping televisi. Okay. So, those are sentences using subject and he. And now, let's listen to some sentences by using it and we. For example, the book is in my bag. Buku itu berada di tas. Buku itu berada di tasku. And the second is, the pencil is in my pocket. Pencil itu berada di kantongku. And then, we are in party now. Kami berada di pesta sekarang. Next, we are in the field now. Kami berada di lapangan sekarang. Next subject that I'm gonna is by using they. Let's check and listen. They are on the beach now. Mereka sedang berada di pantai sekarang. And then, they are behind the car. Mereka berada di belakang mobil. Hey guys, so if you think this lesson is good for you or help you learn English, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. And you can also share and like it and tell to your friends to subscribe and to come visit this channel.